Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek NG. I welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to create inside of Canva is a fantastic design. Honestly speaking, a very interesting design. You will love to learn how to create inside of this inside of Canva because when I saw this design, I saw it and I was thinking, hmm, can I redesign this in Canva? And I attempted to redesign it and it was possible. And I was like, wow. If this is possible, then why not create a tutorial about it, just redesigning the whole thing. So what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating in Canva. Don't worry, I'll be taking you step by step. So if this is something you are interested in, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, before we get started, all I want to say is if you are using the free version of canva it's time i think you've used the free version of canva for a long time so it's high time you upgrade to canva pro i have used the free version of canva and i am currently using the pro version of canva and looking at it i believe it's a good investment so please take the time to upgrade and even if you're not ready to upgrade you can use the pro version of canva for free for 30 days so why don't you take advantage of this there's a link in the description box that can help you do all of this so without any much to say let's jump into canva and let's start this all right so here we are in canva and what we are going to first of all do is i have all the project files i need okay these clouds can be downloaded from cliparts.com this image can be you know found in canva you can use the keywords hand titan medal use that search you would find it this can be found in the link in the description box this can also be found in cliparts.com so once you have all of these then you are ready to join me design inside of canva okay so let's come into our design the first thing i'm going to do is to select okay the background so with the background what we are going to first of all do is we are coming into element okay and in element we'll search for gradient you can see over here but you just have to search for gradient you understand and you will find so many interesting gradients you just come to graphics and in graphics you can choose this one over here okay so i just make this bigger you understand and i choose the beginning color because a gradient is simply a transition of colors okay so for this one i choose i can use my yellow which is the ffb800 come here and choose an orange oh what did i do okay the first one has to be the yellow then the second color which is the purple we are going to change it to an orange then we have something hot like this okay so once we have this the next thing we are going to do is to bring our hand image in all right so simply come to edit image and click on remove the background okay so canva will start trying to remove the background of the image and let me use this opportunity to remind you again that look if you're on the free version of canva and maybe for all i've said you're still not interested you can go to remove the bg or you can go to stickerme.com slash trees these tools will help you remove the background of your images okay and even with the image I'm using, it's a Canva Pro image. So please, why don't you at least use Canva Pro for free? The trial version, and I think you'll be cool even for this tutorial alone. So kindly take advantage. I'm pleading with you. All right. So back into our design, you can see that um, Canva has tried to remove the background of our image, but some of the part wasn't removed. So I come to erase. Okay. Then I would increase my image and i use the eraser is too big okay okay and i just remove okay so you can see i'll just speed up this process so that i don't waste your time right so you can see how clean this is looking at the moment then i can click on done we have it this way i know yes it's still not that clean but who cares you know so i just 
reduce it and I click on apply. What we are going to do wouldn't actually need us to be so, um, you know, it wouldn't need us to be so uh, perfect. Okay, so now we have our image over here, which is cool. The next one we have to do is to bring our cloud. I just need one cloud. Okay, yeah, I need this cloud over here. You can see how it's looking. I position it here and I increase the size. Do you understand? Then I send it to the back. You be asking yourself, where did the cloud go? This is a gradient, so we just have to send that also to the back. Okay, then we have this right here. So I would flip my cloud and I'll position this here, increase the size, okay? Duplicate it, you know, just try to make it very interesting as if the hand just came out of the cloud because we want to give the, you know, champion feeling sort of, okay? So let me just reduce this a little bit and uh, it's like the hand in the cloud or something like that. Okay, so this is cool. You understand then we are going to add some text so with the text what I will do is I come into text and I click on add a heading so this is what we should have at the moment so we come to um, you know the typeface options we have over here and there are so many fonts I have um, personally or manually uploaded into Canvas. so I'm going to use any of these but you can feel free to use any text at all there are so many interesting text in here you know i have okay this were also text i uploaded and these are some advantages of canva pro so if you want to be able to be doing this then kindly uh you know take the take the initiative of upgrading because sometimes let me even switch to my face and let me talk to you you know because for sometimes some clients um would need you to use certain fonts which you wouldn't find in canva pro honestly i've been there and in this case, they give you the fonts, you have to upload it into Canva and use it. So what if you are on the free version of Canva, then the question is, how are you able to um, do this? You get it. So in this case, look, if you, even if, like I'm saying, even if you want to use the trial version, you can still use that and it's totally fine. You'll be able to upload all of your fonts. And I think that's the best thing. Look, you know, take the chance. All right, so let me just come back enough of the talking. I would choose my text now, say strong. I want it to be all caps. And um, if you can hear any noise in the background, just pardon me because I live in a noisy neighborhood. Okay, and I, there is no best time because I've been at work and today is a holiday. So, you know, I just decided to take the advantage to record the first video for 2022 okay anyway let's continue so i select colors okay and i want to use the color blue over here okay, so that we can have everything matching so you can see we are getting somewhere we are really getting somewhere i can also add this okay somewhere here which is very cool and um we'll send let's send it to the bottom a little bit understand right so now that we have this i'll duplicate this text come here duplicate and the reason why i'm going the long way is sometimes with control c control v do not really work well with the shortcuts i get to face those issues so i don't want you to be saying oh how come this is not working how come not working and stuff like that so we just have you no know, duplicate option over here then with this um text over here we will come and search for Jimmy script. Okay. I don't know if it's a pro. Okay, it's a free font. Okay. So I do not like it. I don't usually I don't like script font or caps. Okay, so I just say finish. Okay. Then we increase the size, change the color to white. You understand? Maybe this is more bring it down. And um, we have something like this. Then with these clouds, I have other variations of them. So I can position this here. This one also here. Even with this, let me make it bigger a little bit. Something like that. 
and you increase this one also I have this cloud okay, let me just move it because okay oh, it's the same thing and I can just delete it so duplicate and I can make this cloud also smaller you know this can also go to the back you understand then I can you know to make it it um, look different first of all I duplicate this and I can just flip it horizontal okay and maybe place it here some type of way or and just send it back sort of then maybe we can duplicate another one and put this one you know so that it makes just we are just trying to make the text look interesting you understand all right so now we have all of this and what we're going to do is to add our logo so come into element search for logo okay so l o g o when you search there are so many interesting logos and i'm using this because it's a tutorial you understand that if you're designing this for someone uh use the person's logo okay so i select this logo over here reduce the size position it here you understand then we just select it as white okay then i position this one over here i add my text if you are wondering how it can be came so quickly i you know just had to copy and paste that's why from uh, my second screen okay so select everything make it smaller and center it so the main meat of the design we are pretty much done and let me just add these interesting things copy and paste okay so this is just um the date okay so you can see this one is the same font over here but i made it black and this one is you know the lighter version of it so basically you can just use the lighter versions of the same font if you're using montserrat you can use classic for those ones you understand then add some icons over here to make your design look interesting okay one more thing to do is add in this okay so we bring it here rotate it to 90 degrees and if you've seen this tutorial i have shared on my screen right now if you've seen it already then you know what i'm about to do and i believe it's a very interesting tutorial to also check out okay so we have all of this come to edit image come to um you're looking for dual tone okay so click on see all then just choose any of this double click you should find this option okay and i choose this yellow come here and choose this yellow or you can use a lighter version instead you understand so yellow but a lighter one okay okay then i just copy come to the highlight click on the plug and paste then click on apply if you're wondering why this is looking like this don't worry it will save quickly click on apply and um, i think with the okay so let me just delete all of this okay it looks like canva didn't save our uh, um, adjustment so we'll just have to do it again come to dual tone okay and then since i copied the color code i paste come to shadows and also paste it here and click on apply then with you know let me adjust all of these things it would save but once you okay you can see what i just wanted to say is once you make an edit like that using dual tone try not to be moving it around okay let it fully save and um for it to look normal before you do anything to it you understand okay so i will make this one very okay i'll make it big position center it okay because you can see i'm not making it cover the whole um design the reason is if it does it will replace the background and we wouldn't even see it that's why so you send it to the back I'm using the shortcut, but all you can do is you can click on position and keep clicking backward. Okay, and you can see the shortcut has even been stated here. 
So it's I love shortcuts, honestly. So I send it back. Okay, then we have something like this. Maybe we can even go further to do the transparency a little bit to make our background look interesting. And you can see how this is really looking at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you were able to learn something new in this particular tutorial. The name is Benjamin and always remember that there is no limit to creativity. Before you go, this tutorial right here you see on my screen is a tutorial I would want to recommend. There are so many tutorials on Canva I have on my um, channel so you can check it out and I believe there's always something new to learn. So like I said, there's always no limit to creativity. The name is Benjamin and I will see you in my next video.